Hello peeps, it is me, Val, truth be told. So, what a week it's been. I thought I'll put the camera on because I wanted to have a few words. I am um, going to address a few things that I've, that I've noticed. Before I start this video, I want to say something to Alan Vinico. If you are watching this, I very much doubt you would because obviously you don't watch, you don't watch other people's channels, of course, but still. I'm going to aim and direct this video at you. Why? because I can. So, Alan, before I start, you're a tosser. Can I just get it in quick? Thank you. Alan, I've been watching your channel now for, well, a couple of, three years. I started watching you, Alan, when you had about 5,000 subscribers and back then you were a bit of a knob. I remember you getting very, very angry when Nobody um, accepted what you were saying and I thought, wow, he's got some anger issues. Little did I know what we were going to be heading for, did I? But um, since I have dealt with a lot of narcissists and I've done a bit of research on narcissists, I'm going to look at you today and we're going to go and look at the criteria of narcissists, the list that you get from DSM-5. It's called the Diagnostic the diagnostic criteria for narcissism. I had to read that then. So let's have a look through that, shall we? Now, I know that there's a lot of people that are very narcissistic. And I know there's a lot of people that are narcissists. Narcissists have their full-blown personality disorder called NPD. Narcissistic personality disorder. Or they're just pretty narcissistic. Now, let's see, what way you fit in the spectrum of all this. Let's look, let's have a look, shall we? Shall we, shall we looky looky? Shall we have a little looky and see? Now I know that I'm not a qualified psycho when you said psychopath then. A qualified psychopath. Some people would probably think I was. Qualified psychotherapist. Anyway, you know what I'm saying. So but but you know if it looks like a duck, if it quacks like a duck if it waddles like a duck, duck. it swims like a duck. It's a message. It's a duck. So, let's have a look at this criteria, shall we? Now, there's nine different traits or characteristics. You only need five to class yourself as narcissistic. All nine of them, I would imagine that you're pretty fucked. All the people around you are pretty fucked. Because that's what happens when you've got narcissistic personality disorder. You hurt people. You hurt those around you. And I would say, yes, you have hurt quite a lot of people around you. Shall we begin? Grandiose sense of self-importance exaggerates achievements and talents. Expects to be recognised as superior without commensurate achievements. I would say that's a check. Preoccupied with fantasies of unlimited success, power, brilliance, beauty or ideal love. Oh, I think that could be a check. Believes that he or she is special and unique, can only be understood by or should associate with other special or high status people. That's definite check. Requires excessive admiration. Hmm, Alan, check. Has a sense of entitlement. Check interpersonally exploitative yeah i would definitely say check lacks empathy unwilling to recognize or identify with the feelings and needs of others well that's a huge big check often envious of others or believes that others are envious of him or her check arrogant haughty behaviors or attitudes i would say that's a check so alan alan Alan. You've not done so good there, Alan, have you, babes? No, no. I would say that you've basically ticked every one of those. So what does that say? I think you're pretty narcissistic or NPD. But hey, who am I to diagnose? I'm sure okay. I am at a day off yesterday. And I'm forlorn at the state of true crime now where all the drama channels have all piled in I mean, I know about these gossipers and they gossip and they, oh, I'm this, and no, boom, 
Not me. I'm in my lane. I don't want to do anything more about anyone. I just want to do my thing. All I had to do was say, I'm not talking to a certain creator anymore, and that's it. I don't want the drama. I'm too big a channel to be involved in drama. I'm not interested. I have nothing more to say about any other channel. Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Eh? Okay. Huh? Yes. Look at it. This is a comment written by a lady that works in a chip shop that's in the same town where Alan Vinicom lives. And she wrote a comment I want to read out to you. AD puts time and effort into creating falsehoods and breaking news out of nothing but lies and conspiracies. He comes into the chippy I own and tells my staff about his channel and how easy it is to make money. He tells my staff to get a channel and make up anything because there are fools, especially in USA, who will open their wallets to just about anyone and anything for drama and gossip. AD knows he makes this all up and it's all for money. You will see this one day when you grow some brain cells. I hope you do for your own sake. Keep your money and buy yourself something nice. Why hand it over to him? Give to a more deserving homeless person, a struggling family. And if you want to throw your money away, don't give it to a man who lies and manipulates, then wastes your money on drink and gambling. He has over 10K coming in a month. I want to also mention something about the video that you did last night on Brenda Leyland. No, you are a sick, sick man. That is nothing like what you're going through. You are torturing people. You are tormenting other people. And then you play the victim. You play a victim and you compare yourself with Brenda Leyland. And you compare yourself with Samuel Patty, who got beheaded. And you're trying to say it's because of trolls and because of Facebook and because of YouTube. Poor, poor you. Poor, poor Alan Vinicom. He creates his own pain. And in fact, it's not pain at all. You're just playing the pity party. You're playing a victim of your own doing. You are a sick man. And when I saw that you did that video last night on Brenda Leyland, and you were trying to align yourself with her pain, and trying to align yourself and saying, oh, I know, I've been through the same. You have been through nothing, nothing. And when you go down, I will celebrate because you're a sick, sick man. You do not use other people's deaths to align and to create pity parties, to get sympathy. Poor Alan. Alan, you've created all this yourself. Whatever suffering that you are dealing with, you created it. So never, ever start making videos. You did the Manchester bombing one, didn't you? And you started using the Manchester bombing to gain pity and to gain sympathy. You used Samuel Patty. You used Brenda Leyland. Who next? Who next are you going to start lining yourself with and saying, oh, I know how they feel. I'm going through the same. This could happen to me because look, it's happened to them. No, no. You're just creating drama. You're creating shit and you're creating your own mess. And then when you cry about it, we don't really give a shit. You're a sick man. Now I want to add something to that. Whether you believe that comment, again, it's up to you. But I want to talk about the scamming side of Alan. Now, I know a lot of the followers and the subscribers. You see their comments saying, I want to give Alan money. It's my choice if I give Alan money. I'm not being scammed. It's my choice. Now, let me explain how scams work. See, scams work by giving you information which you believe because you're probably biased towards the person because you believe them all the time. They will give you information which you will base your reality on. Actually, it's not. It's a fake reality. So you base your reality on what you're being told and then you'll pay the person. You'll give them PayPal or Super Chat because you trust them. A scam is called a scam because it's something that you're doing you're giving somebody something on the basis they're telling you the truth. And when you find out that they're not telling you the truth, that's when it's a scam. Now, you're all saying to people, to me, to comments on videos, you give him money because you want to. He's giving you the information that you want to hear. He is scamming you. You just don't know it yet. He is scamming you because you are believing the information you get and you are willingly 
giving him money and that's called a scam. It's like these phone calls that you get saying that you've got to pay some money because Barclays Bank blah 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 or your bank details need to be and you trust this person on the end of the phone because they're coming from what you think is a very professional business so you give them details before you know it you've lost all your money from your bank. You start dating a guy who comes across as perfectly lovely. You make decisions on your reality that you're being put in front of you. Then you realise that your reality was faked. And this person that you've been giving love to, you've given your life to, you've let in your house with your children's, then children, then you realise that the person was lying. That's called a scam. You don't know it's a scam until afterwards. So those people that keep saying, it's up to us if we want to give him money. You're giving him money on the reality that he's creating. You are paying a man that you think is a good person because you believe what he's saying. That's called a scam. You've got to understand that when it comes to the end of the road for Alan and you realise what he is, that's when the scam that you've never thought was a scam will suddenly come real. And you'll go, shit, I've been scammed. So these people keep saying to others, I'm paying him because I want to pay him. Fine, because you're paying him on the reality that you're given. But it's fake. It's Alan Vinicom's reality. It's all faked. It's all a scam. You're paying a man who you think is an old 66-year-old man that needs the money. You're paying a man who keeps saying he can't feed his dog. You're paying a man that's thinking that you think's working hard when he doesn't. Bubble does all the scamming really in the end. Bubble does it all. Bubble, 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 tall and trouble. Sorry, I went off one then. That's who you are giving money to. You're giving money to a person that's giving you fake advice, fake details, fake news, fake conspiracies, fake information. When you find out that Alan Vinicom is fake, that's when the word scam will make sense to you, but it doesn't now. And what I also want to talk about is the way Alan goes on about his subscribers, how he's got like 66, 70,000 subscribers. Alan's channel that he's had for five years, that he's built up over five years, has got 66.5 thousand subscribers. Now, if you look on his other two channels, when he's moved to the other two channels, if he actually really had 66,000 subscribers, they would have moved with him. What happens over five years is people move on, people leave the channel, people realise he's a fake, people change crime channels, people leave. So the 66,000 people you're seeing on that channel are over five years, and a lot of them aren't there. The true amount of subscribers that Alan Vinicom has got is showing on his other two channels he basically opened up with the last year, six months. I haven't actually looked at the times and dates. But that shows the true amount of subscribers. It's around 6,000. Because out of that 66,000, if, if they were all true people following him because they believe that there's four people working, you know, four people had murdered, blah, 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 four people were there, like Alan keeps saying, they would have all gone to his new channels. They would have all subscribed. Why haven't they subscribed, Alan? Why haven't they subbed to your new blue channels, red channels, Juju Island, which has got just over 2,000? That's your true count, Alan. You don't have 66,000 subscribers. You have about six, 7,000 subscribers that watch you. So you can put that in your pipe and smoke it. You are not as big as you think. You're not as famous as you think. You're a bit of a disappointment, really. Because you keep on bragging about your 66,000 subscribers. And if they were really 66,000, your other two channels would have 66,000. They don't. Only 6,000 have gone to your new ones. So that just shows that's the amount of subscribers that you actually have. So I'm going to leave soon, but one last thing really, um, Alan, if, if YouTube is so tough on you and you're having such a tough time with the haters and the trolls and, 
you know, all these sort of sicknesses and illnesses and high blood pressure and all. You're going yellow. I checked that out because you're definitely going yellow. You do look like bloody Grandpa Simpson, but hey ho. Um, you know, if you're not handling it very well, why don't you leave YouTube? Oh, oh, oh hang on, you can't leave YouTube because you're addicted, aren't you? You're addicted to the f fake conspiracies you create. You're addicted to the oh the money that you get you're addicted to the patreon you're addicted to the money that you get because you're addicted to the alcohol and you're addicted to gambling you need the money and you just keep on scamming people over and over and over and over again and they don't realize they're being scammed they're giving you money willingly on the reality that you are feeding them but it's not reality at all is it no it's fake you need to stop if shanann knew and was looking down what you were doing to her family she would be appalled absolutely appalled at what you were doing and those followers that keep sending you little purple hearts and saying things like oh well done alan justice for shanann we love shanann you don't love shanann i don't know what you're doing because do you not see what he's doing to the family do you not see it the torment the torture the lies. How can you love Shanann but then torture her family? Because you're enabling, you're enabling Alan Vinicum to torture the Rusex. And it's been going on for three years. But you know, Alan, it's coming to an end. And I can't wait. Because you exhaust me. I can't watch your videos because they make me go. Ooh. You know that feeling when you go. Ooh. I'm sure you've had that feeling in the 66 years that you've been alive. Something happens, you go. Ooh, it makes you. Ooh, makes you go all funny. Ooh, no. I can't. I have to watch the other truth channels. And by the way, the truth channels, we aren't monetized, so please stop saying that we're doing this for fame and fortune, because we're not, you're just projecting. But you know what, I'm getting tired now, because you exhaust me. So I'm going to go, Alan, see you in court with everybody else.